folks. Frank the Pesky here. Long ashes to you. It is Wednesday. Um, I'm taking the afternoon off because we had some things to do. And I said, well, why not? I'm going to come over here. I'm in Lauderdale. And I'm going to enjoy a, a cappuccino and a latte. I don't know what they made me. It was really good. And I smoked a cigar. And um, I decided I had a friend who, you know, I've grown uh, to really, you know, care for and, and you know I consider him my friend and I was doing a consultation on this and you know we had about a good 45 minute conversation but um, what I wanted to talk about is what I've been kind of on my mind the last couple of days there are things just on my mind and I really got to let him let me go here long ashes to you and uh, you know and long lashes if you're a woman um, you know, uh, but one of the things that, um, in, in, in starting up a business and in, in your first year, in your first two years of business that a lot of people, um, are, 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 are overwhelmed where they are not making nearly as much, um, <laughs> What's up with the trucker uh, headset? Actually, this is because I'm in I'm in a cigar bar. They got music playing, and I don't want to shout and talk really loud. And I carry this. This is my office uh, mic that I use when I'm uh, doing telesales in the office, and I carry it with this laptop. Hopefully, I'm getting a good signal. I'm transmitting via my my phone uh, using the internet, and hopefully, it's coming in clear. And we're getting a good reception, which is this is testing for me, too, because I want to be able to go live from anywhere across seven, eight platforms. Right now, we're live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. I'm live on Twitter. I'm live on um, and a bunch of other places. And I just want to be able to do this whenever I have the time, whenever I have the chance, share with the audience, talk, communicate, not have to wait till I'm in a studio. Um, I'm all about being free and, and the freedom that being in business really provides. And it's really about the freedom for most of us. It's not really about the money. Uh, if it was about the money, we could probably do something else. Um, it's really about the freedom it buys us. It buys us the time that we want. When most people don't experience that freedom, they experience what they feel is slavery. They can't get away. They can't take time off. They can't do anything. Yes, you're going to pay those dues early on. I mean, that's just the price you have to pay. Uh, to get what you want. Um, if, if you're starting a business at 40-something, 50-something, it's much harder at 50-something than it is at 40-something. When you've hit the ceiling and you can no longer advance in a company and nobody's going to pay you more because you're pretty much uh, at the max of what you're going to make and, and as an office manager, as a manager, as a, as a you know, for a small company, you cap out at fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. Your only option is to start up, and a lot of you, your first year, your first six months, you don't really know what it is that you're going to expect, and what you're going to expect is a lot more pain, a lot harder than you thought it was, and a lot of you are ready to quit. Because you're really in your in your heart and in your mind, you thought this was going to be easier than it really is. You're wanting it to be easier than it really is. And when you find out that all the people videos and all the pods into and all the books you're listening to, it's not adding up. Because what people are going to tell you is, you have to delegate. You have to delegate. You have to delegate. Yeah, if you're barely making three to five thousand dollars a month, you don't have enough to delegate. Nobody's going to work for you. So what you delegate is tasks. You may delegate the accounting, but you cannot delegate your core yet because it's all on you. And and the hard pill to swallow is that you thought handing out a thousand flyers that you made was going to bring you in 100 customers because people said it's 1%. Well, I got news for you. It's not 1%. 
it's one hundredth of one percent on flyers. If you hand out a thousand flyers, you are if you get one call from that is because you had such a strong offer. For instance, you offer to buy their contract. If they got a contract, if you got a contract with a large company and you want to get out of it because you're not happy and they're going to charge you a cancellation fee, I'll buy that from you. We will provide you a free service valued at X and your first month for free for you to switch to us because we're a small company. We're a mom and pop company and we got to work harder and we care more. And now you have a USP. Now you have, because what people for, people don't understand when they, this is what throws people off when we start talking these numbers, that it's going to cost you between $150 to $400 to get a customer when you're doing marketing. Some of you left your company and you didn't have enough relationships in the industry where you had hundreds of relationships that you've built over a decade, 15 years, that you can now call on those people and pull favors for people to give you a chance to do the work. Chances are you had a non-compete. You cannot go after their customers. And even if you could, it's unethical. And if you're a believer and, and you have good ethics and morals, you're not going to do that. So you, your work is twice as hard. So why am I dealing this? Because I deal with this day in and day out where it, you're, you're hoping and wishing that it was easier than it really is. When I first started out, the reason I keep harping on this is because I want everyone to get it. I'm going to continue harping on this. I'm going to be producing one to five podcasts a week. We're putting up the academy. We're putting up sales academy. We're putting up the marketing academy on simple things that people don't know how to do, but they need to do it. And here's the problem. And I have to swallow that frog. Praying, hope, and prayer. It, 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 the chances are if you're hoping and you're praying and you're a believer, what you're going to get is answers of questions you didn't want to hear. I was just having a conversation with this brother. I said, look, God told Joshua, you're going to enter the promised land. Be not afraid. He told them three times I am with you. But when you go into that promised land, you're still going to have to sword and you're going to have to kick everybody out. And I'm not going to save you from that. God is not going to save you from the hard work that needs to be done because you prayed about it. You're still going to have to go in there and kick butt. You're going to have to go out into the world and compete. You're going to compete to eat every single day of your life when you're in business. That is the reality. This is why you know, it is estimated that 70 something percent of people say they want to start their own business. 67 percent of people aren't happy in the workplace. Yet only six to 11 percent of people ever start a business successfully because it is darn hard. And you, what you're wishing is for an easy button, you're wishing for something that would come that's going to make your life easy. I said the tools of the trade of marketing, the tools make your life easier. If you're using AI, you can produce. I got software that can produce. I was telling them, bro, if you told me that you wanted to produce a blog a day as a friend, I would have a blog directly uploaded to your site every single day that all you have to do is tweak it. But you're still going to have to tweak it. If you're not going to invest the time, then I, it, it's going to do me no good to do it. But I can produce a thousand blog posts overnight. I can build a website and have a hundred pages on it literally overnight and eight to ten hours of work i can build a site what is that going to do for you if you're not going to do the seo part if you're not going to do the gmb part 